Today we're going to be going over 10 different sneakers that have come out in 2022 so far that I think should be represented on some type of list. We're currently halfway through the year and typically we make these videos at the end of the year, but I kind of wanted to make this video to give you guys an update just how the sneaker game is going, what shoes have come out, and what type of trends are happening right now in the market. And if you guys didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey. On this channel, I love talking about sneakers, giving you guys breakdowns and reviews, and especially update videos like this. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there. So this list is in no particular order, but I'm gonna go over 10 different sneakers and I have a couple honorable mentions at the very end of the video. So let's go ahead and get started with the first sneaker. And that is the Louis Vuitton Off-White Sotheby's Auction Nike Air Force One. And honestly, we can mention any of the shoes from that collection, but I know for a fact, a lot of people are calling the number one sneaker of the year, the pair from the Sotheby's Auction. And I think in my personal opinion, it's not fair to put that sneaker on the list simply because it's almost like a PE or a sample. So you don't typically put that in the general public releases of the year type of thing. And that's just kind of how I feel. When a sneaker is valued at over $100,000, it just doesn't make sense to allow that still be in the same category as a shoe that actually does come out to the public and people actually have a chance to get the sneaker. So for me, I feel like it's kind of not fair, but I know at the end of the year, when you see the big blogs and all the articles and all that stuff they're gonna say that's the sneaker of the year that's the holy grail shoe of the year and it does make sense on that aspect of just overall sneakers but i think when it comes to obtainable sneakers i don't think that one should be on the list but we got to mention it anyways so we'll just omit that one and now we'll get to the first one on my list and that is the nike dunk low bart simpson i personally think this colorway is extremely fire and when i think about dunk lows when it comes to sbs I feel like this is definitely one of the most talked about Nike SB dunk lows of this year when it comes to releases. A lot of people are asking, do you have that shoe? Or I love that sneaker or talking about it a lot. So I feel like that alone, I don't know if you want to call it a hype beast or whatever, because I actually do like the shoe, but I feel like just overall general consensus of the community and the public and what people like, I can tell that not only me, but a lot of other people like that sneaker as well. So I feel like it's definitely worthy of being on this list. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 2 Union. Now we can go with the gray or the tan pair. Some people go back and forth determining which pair they like the most. And I have a review for these on the channel if you want to check that out as well. Me personally, I like the gray pair a little bit more and it's cool because they're a little bit cheaper but i feel like it's only right to just put both on there and there's actually a couple different packs or whatever you want to call them that uh have come out this year that i think a lot of people kind of gravitated to and then they kind of selected the ones that they wanted or maybe have just said hey you know what i want to complete the whole set let me get all two or three or four of those from the set whatever it may be so you'll see some of the other ones pop up on this list as well next up we have the kobe mamba sita and i know everybody understands everything about this shoe. I don't think I need to do any explaining when it comes to the sneaker. And I actually still need those in my collection. I wasn't able to grab them for retail and I just don't see myself spending retail on that shoe in particular, simply because of we know why the hype is there for that reason. So it's kind of just like that gray area for me. So hopefully I can find a pair on a trade or something like that and maybe add them to my collection by the end of the year. I would love to have the Mambasitas Size 13, by the way, if you guys are, you know, if anybody's trying to hook your boy up, let me know. But besides that, yes, I think the shoe is extremely fire. It's very simple, very clean, symbolizes a lot. And I think when it comes to Nike basketball in particular, I would say that's definitely one of, or probably the best uh, released so far in 2022. Next up on the list, we have a shoe that I'm not sure if everybody is going to put it on their top 10, but think, I think personally, me, I love the shoe and that's why I'm making the list, right? I'm the one that's making the list. At the end of the day, I think it's super clean and that is the Rebellionaire Air Jordan 1. I think this could easily be one of those thousand dollar sneakers and I understand it's falling short, but a lot of the sneakers currently in the game are kind of falling short. And I think there's a lot of sneakers that you can get like the Green Bean 5s or something like that, the Midnight 6s. Oh my bad, that's the honorable mentions. We'll talk about that later. But there's definitely a lot of good sneakers that are out there right now that have come out that have really dope materials or really dope concepts or clean colorways or something that's just a little bit different so i'm excited about a lot of the releases i know it's not the best year with all these crazy super super dope releases but there are definitely a lot of clean releases when it comes to this year as well so the rebellionaire has to go on my 
top 10. I don't know exactly where it would be placed on the list, but I just know I had to put it on the list somewhere. Next up, I was thinking about Jordan 4s. And I know this is a year of Air Jordan 4s. We have seen a lot of colorways drop. All right, you guys, have time disclaimer. I made a big mistake. I don't know how I did this. I forgot to put the Am Amenye Air Jordan 2 on the list. That shoe is extremely fire. I The reason why is because I haven't picked them up yet. I got to go grab them still. So that they're not in my physical presence right now. And it made me forget about the shoe. But Am Amenye Air Jordan 2, definitely on my top 10. And when it comes to top, yeah, just... Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't put that on there. I'm going to pick that shoe up actually very soon too. So I'll be giving you guys a full review of that sneaker as soon as I get them. Sorry about that. Let's just go ahead and get back to the video. We plan on more coming out and we know there's a lot of hype behind it. When we see spikes in the prices and the resale, even during the prices kind of declining, there's some Jordan 4s that I think are just kind of overpriced right now. And as some people are saying, it's a good deal. So, I mean, you know, we could take it both ways, but at the end of the day, there have been some good Jordan 4 releases. And I think there are a couple in particular that really stood out. And the one that really stood out the most to me when it came to quality based off the pairs that I saw, because we all know there's quality control issues with all retros and all that stuff, I get that. But I think this shoe in particular, the Black Military Air Jordan 4, I think they did a really good job on materials. I love the shoe. Again, very versatile. You can rock it with a lot of things. It has some nostalgia behind the blue militaries. I know it doesn't have the Nike Air on it. If the shoe had the Nike Air on it, it would be a whole nother level of a banger. But at the end of the day, I feel like execution was really good. I feel like this is a shoe that a lot of people will want to double up on. Definitely well deserving of being on this top 10 list. Now, before we take it to the next shoe, I know we got some new subscribers here. I wanted to let you guys know we have the full DNA fam community as well. So if you want to hop in and be a part of the community, learn about sneakers talk kicks catch up with me do live streams different stuff like that plus the full vip mastermind that teaches you everything about shoes that you need to know it's all going to be inside of the community so if you want to be involved if you want to get joined in i'll have the link for you guys down below in the description and i'll also pin it for you in the comment section as well and i love talking about kicks with everybody inside the community so i'll see you inside now let's take it to the next shoe we have the air max one concepts pack now this one in particular i like the heavy colorway the most but I think everybody was very selective and they chose what they liked. And some people, again, wanted to complete the entire set. I think if I could only get one, I got the one that I wanted to get. So I was definitely a happy camper. But I know when I think about Air Max ones, everybody talks about the Travis Scott's and different stuff like that. I think, me personally, I know the Air Max days dropped as well and those were very clean. They did a really good job on materials. But I think personally, the Concepts pack was the best Air Max one uh, to release this year so far. Again, it's all opinion based. You can like what you wanna like. I can like what I wanna like. This is my top 10 list. If you got a problem with it, make your own top 10 list on your YouTube channel or drop a comment down below. I'm just talking kicks. There's no right or wrong answer. That's the best thing about sneakers. We all get to love what we wanna love. So let me know what you guys think about those down below in the comment section. I was just rocking a pair a few weeks ago. I was loving them. I got a lot of compliments rocking the shoe. Something different, something that stands out. Definitely dope with the materials and the mixtures of everything like that. So I like them and I think it's well worthy of being on the top 10 so far in 2022. Next up on the list, we have the Nike LeBron 9. I know, right? LeBrons. I know you guys are going to be like, there's no way those are going to be on the top 10 list. Blah, 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 blah. Me personally, I think the Big Bangs for me were great. I was loving the retro, how they did when it came to execution and making it look like the older pair. And the fact that we were able to get another chance to grab this pair, a freshened up pair, seeing the glow in the dark and all the stuff. I love all the elements of the Big Bangs. I was very, very happy about that. And I feel like some people maybe even have forgot about it. I know they went way under the radar and the resale price wasn't crazy on the shoe, but that doesn't matter all the time. We don't have to always worry about the resale value to say it's a top 10 sneaker because this isn't most valuable list. This is just dope shoes. What are the top 10 most dope shoes? What are sneakers that we like? What are sneakers that we appreciate the most? So for me, I appreciate them. I like them. I love them. I think the Big Bangs are super dope. And I don't know if you can see them, but they're on the wall back there somewhere. I love that shoe. So we got a couple more sneakers to go on the list and I'm excited to talk about these as well. Again, there's no specific placement on this list. I just kind of wanted to sit down, talk some kicks and do a little bit of update midway through the year. So next up on the list is one of my personal favorite releases of this year because you you know I love Air Jordan 6s and I know it's not the Midnights because they did really good on those and I feel like a lot of people slept on them but the UNC Air Jordan 6 oh my 
gosh, I love that shoe. I feel like the color blocking is undefeated. If you do this color blocking with any type of color on the Air Jordan 6, you can do red, green, blue, purple, turquoise, you name it, it's always gonna look dope. I wish they would have switched the back tab and actually put the UNC logoing on there, but I know they can't because of branding issues and different stuff like that with the colleges, which was cool because I did end up getting the UNC college PE as well this year, and that'll be on my top 10 pickup video at the end of the year. But at the end of the day, yes, the UNC Air Jordan 6, the GR version, extremely fire, I love them. I think that is definitely one of the top releases of this year so far in my opinion again this is all in my opinion but yes i love that shoe i love sixes bro it's a bias it's not fair i i get it i get it i'm being biased another sneaker that i'm extremely biased on and really happy to have added it to my collection is the air jordan 185 georgetown i think this shoe is extremely clean you can rock this at any time of the year dress it up dress it down quality materials cuts everything giving you that og vibe with the nostalgic hang tags and everything like that especially knowing that we got the og style chicago ones is supposed to be coming out this year with their only reminiscent with all that extra stuff but either way i think all the 85 cut air jordan ones are a must have i think you have to have all of them in the collection again personal opinion i want to have all of them in my collection so every time i see a new one coming out i gotta catch them all no pokemon next up on the list we have the joe fresh goods new balance 9060 now me personally i know y'all know i'm a huge nike and jordan type of guy but I feel like when I saw the New Balances and I saw this one in particular, because there has definitely been a rise of other brands, you know, making their name in the scene, especially with Puma. And we've seen LaMelo Ball and all his dope sneakers because he could easily be on the top 10 of the list as well. I mean, we're talking about the Rick and Mortys and stuff like that. Like there's a lot of cool shoes that have come out this year so far. After I started thinking about it, I know I was kind of at the beginning of the video saying, well, you know, there's been some decent stuff coming out. There's actually been some solid stuff. So when it comes to the Joe Fresh Goods in particular, I feel like they did a really good job on this shoe and i feel like the quality when it comes to new balance always i feel like it's really really nice and i like the shoe i think they did a really good job they're definitely deserving to be on this top 10 list now i know i got another one on here i'm kind of like disorganized because i wrote a list out but then i felt like it was in the wrong order because it was like jordan 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 jordan, jordan, jordan. so i was trying to like jumble it all up now i gotta make sure i got everything <laughs> from the list so the last one are we missing one where we at where we at where we at? oh there we go okay the Union Dunk Pack. I think that pack, extremely dope. I personally like the Union Dunk Pack more. Originally, I was thinking like, oh, I like the Union 2s more than the Dunks, but I think I really do like the Union Dunk Pack more than uh, the Union 2s. And I think the Pistachio colorway in particular, that's the one that I have. Again, similar situation with the Air Maxes. I was like, do I wanna get the heavy colorway or do I wanna just get all of them? Or what do I wanna do? And I was like, let me just get the one that I really love the most out of the entire pack. So for me, I got the Pistachio colorway. I really like those. I think they look super clean. I'm not sure if I'm going to distress the shoe and take all the little mesh and all the stuff off of there. Let me know what you guys did with those as well. Is that kind of a sneaker that is like, Loki, I need to grab two pairs. And I even hear different resellers talking about, oh yeah, these are going to go up in value. So you need to sit on them and all this stuff. So I don't know. I'm hearing both sides of the spectrum. At the end of the day, if you like the shoe, grab it for the collection. That's the type of thing I did. So I got the shoe in my collection. I will wear the shoe. I don't know exactly when because I'm not too big of a fan of like rocking everything right when it comes out because then everybody else is walking around wearing in the same exact shoes and i know people say well you can still stand out but we're a different outlet. let me just do it how i do it i like to wait i like to be patient i like to stay you know year two year three years sometimes even five years behind and then pull them shoes out and be super fresh super clean and people reminiscing like damn i wish i wouldn't have beat my pair that's just kind of how i rock when it goes to me rocking my kicks and bringing my stuff into rotation depending on the sneakers and stuff because obviously we know we can't wear every single shoes in one single day and all this stuff so again that's a whole nother topic now i think that was the entire list let's go ahead and go through the honorable mentions real quick to finish this video off strong because we have some good honorable mentions you got the red thunder air jordan 4 that's a good shoe right there you got the playoff 12 that's a really good shoe right there you got the travis scott air max one pack really good shoe right there i think those were some of the good three honorable mentions i'm trying to look around to see whatever else i picked up i know honestly the heritage ones i think those are really good the brotherhood ones they did a really good job on the materials on those as well highly slept on shoe very undervalued in my opinion i think there was some solid sneakers that came out this year not too many so far that have been like oh wow i have to have this this is the greatest drop of the year type thing i think over the past three years they just been building up this monster and then now we're getting to the point where it's like that bubble is starting to burst 
And don't get me wrong, again, like I said, there's good shoes dropping. At the same time, there's good shoes dropping. But when you think year over year, over the past, you know, three to five years, maybe this isn't one of those top years of the past three to five years. I don't know, we shall see. At the end of the year, there's gonna be more stuff to come, collaborations, holidays, uh, the Chicago ones, we got the Chicago twos, we got the Fire Red threes. We got a lot of stuff anticipated uh, to come out this year as well. So I'm excited to see all that stuff. I'm excited to grab more sneakers for the collection. I'm excited to show you guys my top 10 pickups of the year. And um, most of these shoes that I mentioned aren't even in my top 10 pickups of the year so far. Like I didn't picked up some crazy stuff. I'm excited to show you guys lots of samples, lots of PEs. That's my type of game as well. So if you wanna see any other videos like this, let me know down below in the comment section. I'll see you on another one. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside.